Hi everyone. Uh, this is a uh, <clears throat> ME six seventy five zero thermal uh, electric uh, material. Today is Wednesday. Yeah. Before we move on chapter six. I to discuss the um, quiz. And number one, 5.1, I think I forgot to open. 5.1. Yes. 5.1, I think. Uh, I like to uh, discuss this first. Okay. The uh, as you see, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, metal, uh, say uh, A and B, U shape of metal. And we have a coil R1 and R2. Um, usually the coil uh, is we're gonna uh, measure the resistance uh, and the temperature. So we'll see which one is higher, which one is lower by measuring the resistance. So anyhow, R1, R2 resistance. Uh, and then uh, the C, point A, B, C is we have a banner hot. Okay, and then uh, current is flowing. Okay, current is flowing. So, which temperature is lower? I think, yeah, something like that. Um, so Q um, Thompson is defined um, A and B and the current and uh, temperature gradient. That determines uh, heat. So heat, we have a sign convention uh, plus and uh, minus. We have sign convention. So uh, control volume, whatever. This is a first law, uh, general, very general. So you should know that. Um, okay, and uh, and then uh, uh, this usually coefficient uh, is uh, usually positive. Okay, so um, typically, so current R one, the current is. Yeah, say uh, 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 from uh, A to C. So in general, A to C uh, current is uh, same direction. So for R1, uh, for R1, uh, A and B is positive current you see that is positive how about the temperature gradient anyone knows the sign of a and b a and c general just a general be positive say again be positive temperature gradient. Yeah. 
it's positive. And, and you can raise a question. If you don't know, I will explain. So the total R1, so total Q is going to be uh, positive. So which means Q into yes or no? Do you understand? Yes or no? Positive, positive, yeah. positive. Yeah. And then uh, R2, this uh, is uh, typically positive. How about the current from, from C to B? A anyone? Can you figure out? positive yeah I think uh, no, we don't need the mass for so from C to V is a current flow positive if you don't understand the rage question how about the temperature from C to V gradient Be negative. Yeah, but uh, do you do you understand or not? If you don't understand, uh, is uh, this is a uh, elementary mass x direction temperature from C is high, B is low. So slope is a uh, negative. So Q is negative, which means Q is out. So which temperature is lower? P2 is losing heat, losing heat, is getting heat. So T2, R1, R2, T2, not, not the R, yeah, yeah. T1, T2, whatever, temperature. Okay, so answer is uh, R2 side is lower. Um, that's the Thompson effect. It's uh, small, but uh, it's uh, very uh, distinct. Phenomena, okay, and uh, also this is irreversible. That's what I said. No, 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 reversible. Some more um, electric, including Thomson, is reversible. Everything is reversible. C back, reversible. Uh, Peltier cooling, reversible. Thompson is reversible. How about the Joule heating? Reversible or irreversible? Anyone? Irreversible. Irreversible. How about the uh, uh, thermal conduction? Thermal conduction. Conduction. Huh? It's also irreversible. 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 You should know that. Okay. So because uh, this is something friction associated, you, you never uh, reverse. That's the very important phenomena of thermal electric. Now, I like to mention something about the homework. 
あそうね、ホームあの、ベリーレイト、イングレーディー。あー、I have a problem. No. あー、I don't have a grader, first of all. I have to grade. And、uh, I have two graduate courses I have to grade. Um, I have one,、uh, I think uh, uh, I have three almost uh, uh, graduate courses. I have no grader, they don't provide.、Um, so I ran out of time, and what i thinking is、uh, I'm having difficulty grading. So, I, I grade, but、uh, I cannot go detail. You know what I mean?、Uh, but I can check uh, uh, some bark check and the grade. I will give you a good grade, everybody. As long as you、uh, work hard, I can see that, then you will have a good grade. That's good for you, grading. But、um, I cannot、uh, spend a lot of time on grading. But I will evaluate your work with the quiz and the midterm and the final. Would that be okay or no okay? <laughs> Say something. If you are not okay, then. I have a problem. <laughs>、uh, that's the situation right now. Okay. So, but、uh, I will post the solution. I will post the solution so you can see,、uh, first of all. Look at that. I, I posted solution, most of. Okay? So that you can look at the solution and、uh, check your、uh, work. Homework. Okay? So. Who is g o n n a grade our homework then? I will grade. I'm saying I cannot really go through detail. Sir, what about the assignment grade, sir? Like, you won't consider that for final, I mean, the, for the overall grade? Say again. So, what about the assignment grade? What do you mean by that? Like, you won't consider that, sir. I don't quite understand. What do you mean by that? He m e a n to say, will you be considering the assignment for the final,、uh, finals,、uh, final grade or no? The exams, quizzes,、no. exams.、No. He m e a n to say, will、grade. you consider the assignment for final grading, like total grading? I will grade one by one. I will grade, but I cannot、uh, really go detail you are correct, wrong, something. I cannot do that. I just look at your work and then I will give a, a good grade, everybody. Okay. You know, but you have to work on that with the solution. That's what I'm saying for phases and the midterm. Do you understand? Yeah. I, I really quite <laughs> don't understand the. The students,、uh, what the students are saying. But that's my situation right now. Usually I, 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 I have a lot of work and、uh, three great、uh, you know, graduate courses, and、uh, I just、uh, ran out of time.、Um, okay, sorry about that. Uh, uh, So, 
but I will post, uh, as you see, you can, you can work on that. Uh, I mean, the, you are very, uh, wrong solution, but I would not know. You will have a good grade because you, you have uh, several pages of work. Um, then, uh, you will have a good grade, even though you are wrong, uh, solution. But your responsibility is you have to check uh, with the uh, correct uh, solution and study by yourself. That's what I mean. Okay. Any further question? Um, So I think uh, uh, what is the, uh, let me see, syllabus. Uh, the homework is a shoes. What is the syllabus? Yeah. Yeah, homework is 25% shoes. But uh, I think uh, you will have a good, anyhow, good score in homework from now, as long as you, you provide. I will check, you provide diligently. That's all I can check, okay? So you have to work on that. You, you cannot just neglect, then you have zero. Some students might uh, not feel comfortable about quizzes. This quiz was, uh, I will talk about it. Uh, okay. But uh, I will manage uh, more quizzes coming uh, and the midterm and the finals. Okay. Now. I'm going to talk about, yeah. Um, quiz. Um, I know, uh, I know, uh, this, uh, I thought, uh, I thought actually, to be honest, everybody get the hundred percent. I thought that actually it is not. Uh, so still there are many hundred percent uh, scored students, but some are not. That's a uh, puzzling me. But anyhow, I'm gonna discuss and see. Uh, Consider uh, optimal design. I think we discussed. Um, I am going to now, uh, I think I forgot to mention. Um, one more thing. Um, since the, some students are somehow uh, way behind, I feel, so they don't follow my lecture. That's why I'm worried about it, since the, I don't know. I don't think they have the book. Uh, if they have a book, read my lecture, you should follow it, but the, they they don't want to have the textbook and they have problem and they don't understand my lecture. Okay, fine. But uh, um, I'm going to, oh, okay, lecture. The last three lecture, we had one missed. I posted. So you can go anytime, repeat, 
my lecture. Um, and uh, I'm going to post uh, every uh, lecture record now. Okay? So um, you can see the problem is some students I know will not attend uh, my lecture because they will have a, a video record anyhow. That's my experience, but uh, still I have to do it. Some students are way behind. Uh, so I'm gonna yeah, post uh, my lecture. You can see anytime. Now, I'm a little changing. So this is the, um, is uh, one of, uh, I think is important uh, concept of chapter five. I think uh, some of you recognized, so they got the hundred. I think more than 50% students got the hundred because this is quite simple. Um, consider optimal design of three by three size thermoelectric module. So I think uh, the module is something like that for a nuclear. This is nothing. You don't have to understand the nuclear fusion or nuclear fission reactor. It doesn't matter. I, I just said, okay, you are qualified graduate uh, students with the uh, thermal electric. So you might work in government uh, advisor in the future, where uh, usually the sodium fluid, because it can handle uh, high temperature as a liquid. So sodium fluid, 1800 possible liquid still, and a very high uh, thermal conductivity is a good thermal uh, fluid. With the convection coefficient, 2000, easy. 2000 is very easy. I can increase, but 2000 easy. But I is a given convection coefficient. So that um, uh, you, you have to underline um, important information, some information. So I think a, a module, you can imagine three centimeter, three centimeter module. Something, something like that. And the temperature, sodium, 1800. So it gotta be a high uh, fluid, sodium fluid, fluid, 1800 K. And H, is 2000, okay, conviction. And the cold water, I think uh, T, um, the cold water, T infinity two is cold water 300 K. Am I right? Yeah, 300 K. And uh, Assume uh, here, eta um, is point, uh, uh, fin efficiency. Yes, I think uh, fin efficiency. And the uh, total area of heat sink area, he think is 250 square centimeter. And the dimension list G T infinity two is a three. You write down the information. And uh, is available for cooling reactor. There's even hint 
um, no more than 50 amperes current. And the leg length, usually leg length, it, it cannot be, uh, uh, should be greater than 0.3 millimeter for some uh, practical purposes, I said. So less than this is impractical, so, so I suggest it. And then find the total power, efficiency, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So I think uh, uh, the optimal design when we discussed, I think a couple of hours we discussed the optimal design about this fluid, hot and cold, and the module generator, power generator, um, and the optimal. So that um, uh, that uh, uh, actually I provided this for GT two three. I provide. Look at that. So I expected that you can use it. Now, how to compute star is T infinity one over T infinity two. That's all you need. So one is 18, 300, it turns out to six. Six. So you look at the six. And this is the result of optimum. And then we have table, but you don't have to look at the table. This is uh, provided so that uh, you can just uh, read, but the careful R and K, this is efficiency. So one by one, read it, R of R ratio is what? Can you read for me? Some uncertainty, fine. About 3.25. Yeah. Uh, it's okay, uh, no matter. Three, three, close to three, it's, I'm okay. And then what is the uh, next is uh, uh, power is what? Anyone? Can you read? Dimension is power. Point five one. Point five. <laughs> I thought that everybody got the hundred. Can you read for me? Efficiency. 0.35. Um, temperature. Temperature one. Uh, dimension is 4.5. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. I, 4.3, 4.2, even I, I don't bother. Okay. So what is that? 1.8. Yeah. Okay. And then NI. Huh? Can you read? 0. 0.9, 1.8. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. And V one point nine two two or one point nine anything. All right, whatever. Yeah. I, I don't I don't care. So whatever. Okay, then you have to find the uh, um the definition and figure out. For example, this one T one is T 
infinity to t1. So once you know t infinity to, you can calculate the t1. The same, t2 is t infinity to, if you look up, t2. I think that the problem is um, you don't have a textbook. So you have a difficulty. I don't know. I said you need a textbook. You have to read. But you don't have a book. How can I help you? Okay. Um, efficiency is efficiency, 35%. Now, R of R is a, you know that. R L of R is R of R. So I didn't ask it. Now is um, this is uh, eta H A two actually and T infinity two over Actual. So actual is you can, if you know this, you can compute at the uh, cold side and equal, you, you can N1, H1, A1, eta 2, H2. A2. You can, I think at the description you can see. So, so you can compute. You can compute. Once you have that, you can compute. So you can get everything. Now, um, Ni, um, you have to look at the, what is Ni? <clears throat> is uh, alpha i l e a e k and also uh, n i is uh, yeah. Uh, once you have, uh, Uh, yeah, I think uh, uh, once you have that, uh, you know this, you have to figure out AE, AE, K is given. Once you figure out the uh, length and A, you can it depends on the eye. That's a little you have to work on that. Okay, so you have to a little bit work on that. Current and AE and LE. Otherwise, it's all fixed. So NV, NV is um, N alpha T infinity 2 over voltage. So once you have NV, 
and uh, you can if you have n alpha what is n n is nk and k is n k a e over l e eta to h2 a2 t infinity 2 so this is given this is given in all you know and k is given so again, once you have a AE ratio, then you can determine N. If you have a AE ratio, you can determine current. So you have a couple of times because everything is given. The optimum is given. That's a beautiful optimum is given. Optimum is given. So you can figure out the current once you, uh, once you have a N, I think uh, you can give uh, A uh, E over L E, it will give you current, the ratio. You have to determine, good. So there's a maximum 50. You can work on that. And then it can give N even, A E, A E, where is N? Yeah, A E, you can give N, also you can give a voltage. Yes? This is, a, I think that this is a whole uh, quiz is only you have to figure out this AE ratio. But it turns out uh, associated with the N and the current. You have to reasonable. But the, the LE is, is a less the better. You, we discussed so try to less but you cannot go point oh oh one no point three millimeter it is the least that's what i said so so that obviously you can go up to here and and then determine everything once you determine this you can determine this you can determine current something like that. Also, you have to have a 50A maximum. Okay, so what I did um, was LE uh, 0.3 AE is uh, I think uh, about uh, 50 uh, about uh, yeah, and then uh, current is forty nine voltage is uh, one forty six n is I think uh, one forty two. I know. This is uh, not known. I think uh, I don't think uh, uh, they know. When I saw GM people and and the NASA people, they don't know how to do it. So that was so weird. R over R is so interesting. Three point three, not the one. Not the one. Even no detail, it is optimum, best. So uh, I don't think people have an idea how to design the module. I never checked the commercial module, but I don't think so. They have no idea. They just uh, approximately design it. If, if it's lucky, lucky. Otherwise, they don't know how bad it is. Problem is, uh, no way to know it, how bad it is. Uh, especially in this, this is a realistic. Why? Um, 
I didn't say anything. But uh, what I said is, uh, uh, if we use uh, effective material property, I said, if we use. Okay, yeah. If we use effective, then it should be real. I demonstrated ideal equation become real with the effective material. So you, you have to say real, realistic. I think the what is the advantage is everybody know advantage. There's no turbine, no steam, no generator required. Um, okay, I like to move on. Uh, this is a really good uh, uh, concept. Uh, I anticipate you go and change the world. Yes, I hope. Um, I am asking um, three online course this. I don't know. <laughs> this is not really good uh, lecture. But uh, since is, there is no more lecture, I suggest it. Uh, tomorrow we have a meeting with the uh, uh, vice provost, deans, chairs, or we discuss that. Anyhow, I'd like to move on. Any question? Oh, what time is? Yeah. Okay. Um, students, uh, don't worry too much about the uh, grade. Okay. Uh, since uh, I'm not good in grading, I cannot uh, fail you. I try to pass everybody. Okay. Um, this is my last lecture. Um, so, uh, this is now chapter six, and uh, we talk about uh, crystal because uh, uh, now is a material um, physics, quite different uh, aspect. So far, uh, some more like the device we discussed, but now material. Okay, C back coefficient, um, electrical uh, conductivity, electrical resistivity, thermal conductivity, and the figure of Mary. Okay, we said the figure of Mary, um, uh, rho k is very important. We know that ideal equations, this is directly related performance. Okay, again, uh, instead of uh, resistivity, we can use uh, electrical conductivity, inverse. Okay, same. So, electrical conductivity is inverse of electrical resistivity. You should know that. Okay. And now, how we can improve? We had a dilemma, actually. Uh, that's what I want to talk about it uh, eventually. In order to do that, we need some uh, fundamental of uh, chemistry, physics, material. Okay, that's what we want to spend a couple of hours. And uh, it's good to know physics, electrons. Because current is associated with electron, 
So in order to understand everything, yes, electricity here, electrical conductivity is current moving. So electron is moving. We have to understand the electron. Electron is part of uh, atoms, physics. And atoms is a solid state. Physics. This is a solid state physics is a field of physics. Okay. So uh, first we like to uh, look at the crystal. Okay, crystal is a very typical structure of solid. Um, so once we understand the crystal structure, and probably we can understand the non-crystal structure. Okay. Uh, so we can move on. Uh, you can read. I think you, that's why I assigned. I was so curious how the solid surface look like uh, microscopic. Um, I found uh, micro, even more than nano scale. Usually the atom is a nano, one nano uh, scale meter, nanometer, uh, 10 to the minus 9. Um, so, So this is a really interesting. It looks like a spherical combined forming a surface. This is a, a platinum surface. And uh, usually uh, macroscopic is, is a flat, but the uh, nanoscale it is not flat. Look at that. Because of, uh, uh, it consists of uh, atoms. So, wow, this is really, I was interested. There is a technique of a microscope. Um, but this is a lot of question, actually. Um, but anyhow, first of all, it's a spherical. Look at that. Each it is spherical, you know, you can, we can see that. We can see that. Um, but my question, it's a more deep question is, how come the light is reflecting? You look at that. It's something like a reflection. Yes, it's so weird. Because uh, uh, the uh, nucleus electron is uh, circulating, um, then the speed we will calculate the speed is turns out uh, is a one hundredth of a light speed. Light speed is ten to the eight meter per second. One hundredth of of a of a speed, of. so much less than that. Light is a, is a ten to the eight meter. But how come this is light is reflected? So we don't see an electron. No, no, we don't see. Never ever we see electron. Nobody see electron. So, so this is, it's so weird. How, how come, how come uh, the light is reflected uh, very uniformly? Um, unless there is a all around the electron, 
it is an impossible. Electron is only number of pl platinum is, is some certain number of electron. Impossible. It look like uh, all around the electron. Then it reflect like that small. Actually very small. So that, that, that is a really, I was shocked. Okay, when I look at this, how come? I, I will discuss this later. Anyhow, let, let's look at a little bit more. So, um, for convenience uh, atomic mass, we use so um, the uh, 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 hydrogen and the one proton, typically one proton. This is nucleus, one electron. So this is a number one, atomic mass is one. And then uh, helium, two, a and then two neutron, and then two electron. So neutron has no charge, so two positive, two negative, so is a neutral. This is, is a neutral also. So this is a atomic number two. Anyone remember atomic number three? <laughs> uh, my chemistry. <laughs> Um, no one? Isn't it, uh, is it lithium? Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Isaac. <laughs> Isaac, <laughs> thank you so much. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, one, two, three. Actually, it is, I will talk later. Uh, the orbit the uh, quantum number, all of it, one, there are two maximum, no more, and then three, so three electrons. Uh, anyhow, um, so it's a so small chemically, so they, they wanna use more, okay? So what is the more they de define is uh, carbon, I think, a 12, uh, Uh, 12 gram, 12 gram of carbon 12. It's just a reference. So they count the number since the carbon 12, 12 gram. That's a, they say Avogadro number. That's Avogadro number. Okay, Avogadro number. That number is used for any other uh, element. So one more is a, is a that number Avogadro number. Okay, any anything, it can be any element. So that's one more we we define. So. Um, now, example is, you, you can raise a question, okay? Uh, I, I'm not a physics teacher, but uh, I will try <laughs> to answer. Uh, if you have question, you can discuss. If I don't know, uh, I will answer next hour, okay, students? So enjoy physics now. We need uh, to discuss this before we discuss. So one, uh, of a heaviest atom is uranium. Uranium. Wow, 238. 238. Um, total. This is this number is, is a total number of a proton and a neutron. Total number. So sometimes. Uh, 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 they say 12 and 6. This, this is a proton number. This is total number. 
So if this is a six, well, so which means how many neutron do you think? Answer? Six is a proton number. So how many neutron in nucleus? Six. Six, yeah. Just subtract because this is total number of and uh, electron is depend on okay usually the same number of proton usually but not necessary for example um, uh, typically this is typically interesting very interesting one proton there's no neutron one proton one electron but uh, sometimes uh, there is a two we call uh, isotope you know isotope because this is the standard this is a different number even one three exists very rare but exists um, this is used for um, uh, deuterium or uh, nuclear fusion, nuclear fusion, you know, the quiz. Uh, okay, now, so what is a one, what is a mass of one atom of uranium? So, uh, the, uh, the molar mass is not unit, but if you look at the table, uh, period, periodic table, you can find the gram per mole, exact. So, this is per mole, so you have to compute the how you compute the one atom? So yeah. So look at that. This is one more. You divide the more number. How many more number? And then this is uh, just the atomic mass. Not, not exactly the name, the mass of one atom. Atomic mass is, uh, we have terminology, different meaning. So mass of one atom, Ma yeah, mass of one atom. Make sense? Yeah, I'd like to move on. So uh, the crystal, um, since the crystal is a repeat, uh, crystal structure typically uh, we call lattice okay each structure reciprocal lattice structure lattice um, maybe unit cell it's a repeating lattice same and uh, more point um, so lattice has a, a consist of uh, yeah atoms so we use a point yeah I think you can read it um, but uh, I think uh, let's uh, we're gonna say it's primitive I think a little bit the terminology uh, one of uh, it is uh, this is important uh, we're gonna seeds primitive cell and first the brilliant John okay, just the terminology so suppose a uh, uh, two dimension well actually 3d but uh, uh, since I told you repeat it can be uh, something this one is repeating 
it's uh, this one is repeating so all kind of uh, shape we can form or, or this is repeating so so one of a good way of unit is um, uh, between the the atoms in the middle and the perpendicular line once we do that between the atom perpendicular line and perpendicular line perpendicular line. it can be a 3d but 2d then this is again unit uh, shell but we call wigner sage in cell okay and also uh it is uh what we call uh, sometimes uh, first the brilliant John, brilliant John, we call. It's very useful and very unique rather than this, this, this. Okay. Uh, so it can be like that. So all the atoms you have to construct the uh, perpendicular in the middle, perpendicular, perpendicular, and then this become Wigner Sage unit cell, also first brilliant zone. Okay? Now, it can be something like that. Okay, brilliant zone. We're gonna sage and brilliant zone. Yeah. So um, there are number of uh, uh, lattice, probably depend on uh, simple cubing, possible. And the body center. Look at that. And the face center. And uh, uh, all kind of uh, uh, shape hexagonal is possible. Okay, there are many many uh, shape of, uh, but uh, we will discuss this, this, this. Okay, body center and face center. Um, and the alpha angle angle uh, so all different uh, uh, abc cubic is the same abc is the same angle is the same uh, this uh, uh, sodium chloride sodium chloride is salt that's why salt is crystal you know do, do you see uh, crystal and uh, others, uh, there are more than yeah, other. Yeah. So body center, BBC, we call face center, FCC. So what is a body center? Look at that. Is in, at the center, there is a body. Okay, this one. At the center, there is a, and then each corner, there's a uh, one how many corner can you tell me how many corner answer this is one corner is there students How many corners? I mean, how many how many corners on the cube? How many corners in the uh, uh, body center cubic? There's eight corners on a cube. Yes. That yeah. Yes. Eight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. 
seven. How many atoms are there in the BCC? Two. Yeah, because uh, this is one eighth. You can see that. So two. I think uh, this is a two point that they sometimes call to, to indicate atom number, two point. So, so okay. And uh, face, face uh, uh, center the cubic. This is a face. Uh, how many points are there? How many atoms? Answer. Uh, I cannot hear you. How many atoms? Point? Four. Uh, yes, thank you. Because uh, this and the bottom, one, two, the other side, three, the other side, and then corner. So four, yes, four point. Okay. Um, so example, the gold AU forms FCC. I think uh, I have to. Uh, One second, do I have a table? No. Table. Figure. I don't have it. Ah. Appendix. Do I have appendix? Hmm. I don't have copies. Sorry. Next time I will show you. I don't know why I don't have them. I, I'm going to show you periodic table, but. Uh, you can look at the book uh, table. Um, table D, Appendix D. It's a table, periodic table. So you can find uh, uh, some of them. Yeah, D4. Table uh, D4, you can see crystal structure. So AU, you can find FCC. It, uh, you can, you can see, uh, you can find, okay, in the table. So if you have question, you can look up. Anyhow, it was given. Gold forms FCC cubic unit cell. Uh, it's atom, the radius is 1.4 angstrom. Okay, calculate lattice constant of gold. Also calculate the density of the gold. The lattice, the, this is cubic, so A, 
this is A, A, QB. You know, that's a QB, is FCC. So A is lattice constant, is A. Okay, so how to compute FCC? And then uh, we look at example, the radius is 1.44 angstrom radius. Do you think uh, you can find the A? Answer is yes, because uh, the, this is 2R, 4R. So if you use a little mass, then you can find A. A, that is constant using the geometry. Okay. And the density is the mass divided by volume. So mass is, you can use the Avogadro number, atomic mass. Again, periodic table. It can give you a periodic table. It will give atomic mass divided by Avogadro. This is fixed. Then mass divided by volume. Volume is you can compute. Once you know the A, what is the volume? Is AQ. I think so. Yeah. AQ, so that you can calculate the uh, density. I think uh, uh, some of uh, you can look up uh, problem. Crystal plane. Um, so there is a uh, the way you can. Uh, describe a plane, okay? A vector uh, a1, a2, a3, um, and the plane, uh, and uh, also intersection two, two, three, the dimensions or, or a unit, one, one, one unit. So there is a definitely plane. Um, you can uh, discuss. Um, this is the plane, um, the unit, one, zero, zero. So one is, uh, uh, this is the plane because of zero, zero. Okay. And uh, uh, th this is origin. And we have a sign. This is a plus. The other is a minus. If minus, you can use a bar, one bar, zero, zero, plane. You can define. And then one, 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 because the unit one, 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 this is a plane, one, one, one plane. Okay. And then half of it, half of it, it's a 200. So, so that what we can do is, um, a unit is uh, A1, A2, A3 unit. Um, but uh, uh, if you intersection is a three, so three A1, three A2, three A3. Um, so the reciprocal is three, one third, two, two. And uh, the uh, smallest three integers, we don't use a fraction. The same fraction, but the smallest integer is two, three, three. So um, these indices, the planes are two, three, three, because we don't use a fraction. So for a moment, you can calculate, but uh, we only use a digit. Two, three, three plane is that. This is the, this is the, we call two, three, three plane. Okay, that is, uh, we call it um, Miller indices. This is very convenient. People are using, so you should know that. Look at that. Okay. I'm gonna, we have a, a 
break. I'm gonna, and then I will be back. Ten minutes of break. Okay, I will see you later.
I am back. I um, I have something to tell you. Um, uh, I I would like to know uh, if somebody interested in uh, editing my video because tomorrow I'm gonna we're gonna have a meeting with the vice provost about uh, the video editing. Uh, my lecture. The point is, um, uh, we like to edit uh, my video, uh, eliminating some unnecessary student interaction and the break time, uh, and then only a lecture. I think the university has some facility editing nicely so they can do it but uh, probably uh, somebody who had my lecture class might be helpful because of some uh, can be decided which one is removed uh, etc so if you any of you just uh, uh, one students interested maybe the school pay you for that editing send me email uh, so that tomorrow i can suggest i don't know but if they probably um, somebody one of the students uh, graduate students might help editing together uh, okay so send me email if you are interested uh, i can talk to the uh, provost okay let me continue um students 18 students So many students are not participating. I know that uh, we have 25 enrolled, only 18 students are listening. <laughs> it's okay, yeah. So let me move on, yeah. So, uh, obvious, yeah, this is uh, electrons, uh, smallest particle okay fundamental particle um proton is not proton is consist of a quark uh, so electron is the smallest particle and uh, uh, so obviously uh, quantum mechanic this is so weird um, so I like to a little bit talk about the light. The nature of light uh, is uh, particle and wave. So we call a, a dual nature. This is so weird. Okay, <laughs> if a wave is wave, particle is particle, but the uh, light is uh, both turns out sometimes a particle behave sometimes a wave you know, we know you know that wave behave so um, that is the um, uh, the maxwell um, showed uh, theoretically um, the electrical disturbance electrical and the magnet, electromagnetic wave. So magnetic and electric wave, uh, uh, and then calculated um, the speed, uh, speed of uh, electromagnetic wave is very close, very close to the speed of light.
So that uh, since then um, we believe, actually it is, the nature of uh, light is electromagnetic wave, if it is a wave, and also particle. So, so weird, okay, light is so weird. <clears throat> And then um, there was a, uh, 1887, there was a, some experiment so weird, okay? What is happening is similar to the, this is modern, but uh, there is a, a collector and the emitter and receive light and sometimes uh, it emit the uh, electron particle sometimes no so we can see once the electron particle and then we can see the current you know current so so they're so weird we they couldn't understand actually the hertz so um I think uh, uh, I was what was a year Einstein um, nineteen o five Wow he said um, this is so weird, okay um they they send the light nothing happened uh no matter how strong intensity is nothing to do with okay they thought the higher intensity is more power yes power is high but it is not working so certain frequency is a frequency Nothing happened, increase, frequency, increase, nothing happened. But certain frequency, then electron is moving, emit. So electron is part of um, atoms, okay? So um, that's uh, 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 so weird. And uh, Einstein figured out using the, it should be particle. And uh, the energy, H is constant, Planck constant, um, and the frequency. Wow, frequency is energy. Okay, the constant value so that uh, the particle um it is not particle they cannot explain so so that since then um this is a photoelectric uh, experiment uh, previously they thought there is a wave now particle but together, so dual. So light is dual. Turns out, same. Both. Okay, so it can be a particle. Light it should be particle or wave. Uh, because of that, that is so important. To, and Einstein actually did a lot of work, but he got um, Nobel Prize because of that photoelectric effect. So uh, this is very important uh, uh, energy. It is a photon now, light is H and the frequency. It's famous, okay? So frequency. If frequency, no matter how intense, it is nothing to do with the energy. 
So frequency, certain frequency, then energy. Because in order to create the electron, they need the energy. Nothing to do with the intensity, energy. That energy required to produce the electron. Okay, so, so um, um, it also, uh, the light should be a particle. Each particle has energy, energy, each, each light is energy, and then that energy create electron, electron create. Everything is, uh, yeah, so, so uh, light is particle. And then uh, atomic structure, uh, we like to look at the atomic structure is uh, uh, nucleus, proton, and electron. So hydrogen, probably, um, the weight, uh, look at that. Electron is uh, 10 to minus 31. Photon is 10 to the 27, minus 20, so small, but big difference. How many? About uh, 10,000 difference. Okay, 0, 0, 0, 0, 31 and 27, so huge. And the radius and uh, the nucleus is so small. The, you know, 10 to the 10, uh, minus 10 meters electron. So light, so, so atoms is a uh, totally empty, so empty, only small nucleus is a proton. Okay. So it's empty inside. This, this is a hydrogen. Um, actually two hydrogen forms a uh, hydrogen, but uh, this is a hydrogen element. And uh, the mass is table, you can use it uh, of uh, electron mass, uh, proton mass, neutron mass. Neutron is almost the same, look at that. But the different, neutron is a different. Um, so um, this is so weird. Um, the uh, it could be a, a neutron. The hydrogen does not have a neutron, but it could be a, a you know neutron, proton, and uh, two uh, you know um, uh, could be a, a two proton and the two neutron, that energy, there is a, there is a binding energy we call uh, nuclear energy. It's a huge energy. If you break it, energy is coming out. So this is huge energy. Uh, according to Einstein's relativity, uh, energy is m c square c is constant about three times ten to the eight meter per second so since this is a constant mass is energy also huge small mass small mass square huge energy so mass is energy that energy some energy is a uh, binding energy we call nuclear energy. Okay, so so um, energy is mass. Actually, we can measure the proton and the uh, neutron. That is different with the nucleus mass because of. Uh, nuclear binding energy. Do you understand? So, so uh, uh, there is energy is a mass, mass is energy. No matter how, 
uh, there's a difference between nucleus and the number of proton and the number of uh, neutron because of energy is involved here. So electron is so small, yeah, anyhow, yeah. And uh, uh, the uh, depend on the element, maybe three lithium, uh, three uh, neutron, and uh, or uh, it depend on the number of uh, uh, element, atomic number. Uranium is a 238. Huge, it's huge number of uh, proton and neutrons. The proton, proton is consist of uh, proton is the smallest or anything consists of proton anyone proton is consist of a uh, quark Upper quark and uh, two different quark, upper and the lower quark. So proton and uh, one, two down and the one upper is neutron. So the quark is, you know, and uh, uh, neutron, this is neutron. And uh, more complicated is radioactivity. This neutron, radio energy loses sometimes, not all radioactive and then become proton neutron become proton so it, it's a changing upper and lower so neutron become proton it takes a long time but uh, so uh, it's a decaying um, uranium decaying become less proton I told you, long time, yeah, I, I, sometimes a uh, hundred thousand years it takes. But uh, that's why uh, radiation is coming out. Um, radon is dangerous. Radon is uh, available on Earth. Th this is radiation coming and damage our human skin. Okay. It is a dangerous uh, radiation sometimes. Um, so when you buy a house, check uh, radon. Um, sometimes usually they do that. Any, any, yeah. Um, and also uh, on Earth, uh, there are a lot of uh, radioactive materials. Uh, okay, now. Let's let's a little bit uh, about uh, proton, neutron, and something. And uh, electron volt is convenient, uh, is a joule, but uh, we have a conversion. And Planck, I told you Planck, number of uh, joules or in terms of electron volt because of joule second. And the Boltzmann constant, Kv. We use Kirchhoffman constant. We will use, and uh, we use also uh, epsilon 
permeability, uh, something like that. So you can see now. We had a, uh, some. We tried to understand the structure of uh, atoms um, and the number of experiment and uh, the Bohr model is very interesting. Bohr model. So the Bohr models, uh, the basic uh, is uh, the the angular momentum is quantized n number. He didn't clearly explain how what happened. He he doesn't. He just assumed the quantized start beginning of quantized quantum. So angular momentum quantized once is quantized and one two three h is constant two pi is nothing and uh, it's quantized okay anyhow so so the uh, once is that uh, he just uh, use a nucleus and uh, electrons we don't know how it look uh, it, it's just something we assuming is orbiting okay so we know the structure but um, since uh, there is a uh, two uh, charges plus minus there is a coulomb forces so we can calculate z is a uh, atomic mass atomic number it uh, hydrogen is one so charge e is a charge and distance so we can compute the forces also um, we can have uh, uh, since uh, assuming the orbit, we don't know, but uh, it, it cannot be stay there. It, it's something moving. So that uh, uh, the force, there must be some uh, uh, forces because of acceleration, um, you know, moving acceleration and the, the forces. So, so we're able to calculate forces and equate uh, this Coulomb force and mechanical force and, and then they can calculate the radius and the velocity since the this is constant n is a number of quantum number one two three h is constant uh, i think each charge we know everything so that we can calculate the radius according to Bohr's model 10 to the about the minus 10 this is so accurate measurement look at that this is a measurement 10 to the minus 10 meters so according to uh, Bohr's assumption it's a it's a very closely we able to uh, calculate the radius of atom and also velocity calculated it was uh, about the 10 to the 6 so compared to 10 to the 8 it's about one one hundredths i told you one the speed is one hundredths according to bohr's calculation students are you listening say yes so quiet Mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> really i cannot see students eyes and uh, talk to the wall and that's my problem okay sometimes you you say something okay then then uh, it's encouraging me okay now velocity is about the one one hundredths of a speed of a light and uh so this is very important the if there is a speed this is the speed of electron so much less than than the light speed i told you the the, the picture of uh, the the first picture um 
how the 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 shiny the light the reflect uh reflect is is impossible if this calculation is impossible uh, this electron is everywhere impossible so now we understand okay i i tell you uh the result what happened is uh so weird subatomic is so weird first of all though you cannot calculate the velocity we don't know where the electron is only probability prob this is a probability we all the pro possible but not only probability that that's the calculation but we believe listen carefully everywhere electron everywhere 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 electron yes that's quantum mechanics it's a particle but how come everywhere everywhere electrons it turns out yes that's so weird okay now let's move on so um the kinetic energy is we know that if it is mass velocity now we can calculate so we can calculate um based on because we have expression for velocity and and also potential since the there's a coulomb forces between charges look at that the integrate from zero to r we can calculate the potential so total is kinetic energy we know potential energy must be total energy energy is conserved no destroy when we calculate there is some energy minus according to sign this is kind of binding energy so this is a so good actually Bohr's model is so good because uh, uh, we had the trouble nucleus and electron we had a lot of conflict if electron is moving it cannot stay because of acceleration and energy lose it cannot stay it is it, gonna lose energy but how come this electron is stable tied in the atoms that's a g calculated for binding energy there is a force so it's a really balanced inside and then quantum mechanic everywhere this forms a spherical spherical atom this is atom believe or not not there's only one electron but still totally spherical because everywhere under everywhere atom are the electrons but inside is is a vacuum almost uh, nothing inside because the nucleus is so small if nucleus is a basketball the electron is uh, about the two ten miles away ten miles away if the basketball nucleus so is all vacated nothing happened but electron is moving that's the atom do you believe i think you studied the physics but uh, maybe you would not able to come up with that idea atom any question this is so important okay Bohr's model um so we have a more experiment 
and uh, photoelectric also. So what we learned is um, there is a I think uh, I have to I skipped uh, something before yeah, I think I have to a little bit uh, older <laughs> it's uh, I have to yeah deploy so in addition to a Bose model the de Broglie says the radius is quantum quantumized now is a something quantum so something like that according to his so at that time uh, nobody believed it but later uh, there's experiment confirmed yes it is so uh, electrons is electron here two electron and then another electron possible um, so it's uh, it's uh, quantized primary uh, quantum number n is one n is a two n is a three four five six and then first um, n equal one only two electron can be a uh, state no more than that okay and second one etc etc there's a very weird yeah quantum mechanics Um, so we knew that is a wave, and uh, and then we had uh, some experiment. This is uh, important, everybody. If you don't understand, uh, ask me. Um, there is a quantum number one. Okay, ground state. Quantum number two. Okay quantum number three something like that so energy again the Bohr's model energy we can calculate energy and the binding so very stable but the the hydrogen think about just one electron just one electron one uh, proton no no neutron okay just one proton and it can be a ground state n1 and then we can calculate the energy energy yeah energy one ground is energy two different energy we calculate so if the electron receive energy like a photon uh, like a light Okay, I told you this energy is H frequency. So exact frequency, this energy is N2, suppose. If supply light energy is matching N2, this ground electron can move to here because of energy received. This is the energy N2 we calculated. So this works actually. We know the, how much energy required in order to move, jump to second quantum number because uh, we can control the frequency we can supply and jump. Or even if you have more energy, we can jump to N3 possible. So this electron can be ground state, second, third, fourth, five, six, seven possible. 
depend on the energy. Also, um, if you understand this, this is so powerful, student. Also, once it goes to excited level, say second, third, and then it can lose energy and then back to the ground state. When they back to the ground state, exact amount of energy is coming out. So this energy and then frequency, we know that because of that. So we can control frequency. We can control light frequency. That's the laser. I think that that's the really um, um, This is a laser. You can have a, as many as power. Because we control the energy with the frequency. Do you understand? We, we control energy. And then as many, this is called hair. And then make a laser, very strong. You can cut the steel. You can military use because the speed we know is very useful. Laser, power, whatever. Very simple, actually, the basic. Okay, this is atoms, hydrogen. So, so uh, we can control the energy and uh, when we have some measurement, line spectra, the difference, the energy difference between the quantum number, and uh, we can calculate the frequency between uh, two, two ground, because three, two ground, something like that. So the, the wavelengths, light is is a color i think if you look up the um, um the wavelengths and the intensity of light um this is 0 0.4 0 0.7 micron meter and uh, this is a visible This is a violet, blue. This is a red, yellow color, rainbow. So frequency, the four is about here, violet, four, four. A five is a blue, 0.5, Na nano, okay, so thousand. And the uh, red is a 600. Look at that, 600 is a red. Oh my goodness. Very precisely, we can control frequency and the color we observed. So this is uh, really working. This is working. We can control the frequency. We can control the color because of frequency is color. Confirmed, actually confirmed. So it works. Ground state, excited state. If you understand, students, say yes. I, I will repeat, otherwise. That so that sense. makes sense, right? So you understand the laser now, all kind of laser we can control 
power. We can control the power energy. We can control the number of uh, electrons, atoms, and then we can control the laser. Military, cut, and uh, we know the speed. If you shoot, the, uh, you can control the, the thickness of laser. Shoot. Uh, the moon and then come back time measure do you think uh, you can calculate the distance because of speed we know light speed if you measure the time do you know the speed say yes distance the the moon if you understand, using the laser. Somebody say yes. Speed is meter per second. If you know the second, if you know the speed, you can calculate the distance. Say yes. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's amazing. And uh, the helium, helium, helium two. So we know two, two, no more than that. Well, well uh, basically two, two. So um, if this uh, energy is excited and back, we know the frequency. So what you can do is send laser to the sun and then light back frequency check. Then we know this is helium. So powerful. I think this is a change in the world, this idea. Students, this idea is change world. Um, star, so many star, so many star, some frequency coming to Earth. Earth. <laughs> Michigan is here. If you analyze, we can know what material from, from the star, what element, I mean, we can analyze from the spectral analysis, how many elements, okay? That is what we developed using this technique. We control, light, send, or, or even receive distance. So, so powerful laser. Um, I'd like to talk about a little bit uh, what time. Students, are you okay with a little bit more or, or you have problem? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Once I excited, <laughs> I cannot stop it. <laughs> uh, let me. Yeah. Th this is a, a small one point two millimeter uh, bubble. Strong bubble for pallet made of uh, uh, deuterium uh, tritium. So H12, H13, something like that. Uh, according to theory, 
the sun, there's a lot of uh, helium combined, uh, no, no, hydrogen combined make uh, helium. Uh, helium. And then energy is coming out because of nuclear energy once it's combined. But in order to do that, temperature is about 10 to the 8 Kelvin required in order to reaction. But sun core is enough to have a reaction of uh, hydrogen combined and helium and then energy come continuously so so that uh, it is another uh, 30 billion years with the fuel we know that that we can calculate so but the the, the nuclear fusion is, is a future energy uh, nuclear fusion is a problem uh, nuclear fission is is a problem because uh, of radiation alpha beta radiation the particle coming out that particle is very dangerous the energy is so the frequency is so strong it is uh, exactly matches dna Touches. So that's why dangerous of uh, fission. When DNA touches, is is a particle is moving with the cloud wind. That's uh, so dangerous. Nuclear fission. It is uh, if it is uh, exposed. But uh, nuclear fission, there is no danger, no danger of a particle. So we are looking at the nuclear fission. But in order to do that, 10 to the 8 kil 10 to the 8 Kelvin high temperature. So this is one way. The pallet inside there is a, like a sun, uh, deuterium, and the tritium, and the combined pallet. But the problem is the temperature. So they use a laser so concentrated laser is only can concentrate okay and then they can get the 8 kelvin temperature so that implode this pallet implode um actually they have a, a because of a spherical explosion then temperature this is the look at that. This, this is a pallet. This is a pallet, and then this light is coming from from the inside. Temperature is ten to the eight Kelvin. So nuclear fusion is taking place. One pallet. Uh, one pallet is one about the barrel of a fuel. One barrel, you, you know, one, one barrel of fuel, uh, just one, very small. So right now, uh, the, the actually is a business is laser energy and the energy out, the difference, uh, so that we can continue heat. Otherwise, uh, uh, the uh, require more energy than problem right now but uh, anyhow i think uh, in a very near future we can have this kind of uh, nuclear reactor using the uh, hydrogen very controlled just the one this is a look at it you know this is a quarter american united states uh, Pluribus, E pluribus, unium, one from many. That's the uh, Franklin Benjamin uh, 
America. Okay, one from many. So the problem is uh, uh, we can solve, okay, very soon, very soon, I think, in, in, in 20 years, 10 years. Then uh, how to electricity? That, that's the, our quiz. This energy turned to electricity. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, that's the, that's the uh, quiz I was uh, thinking. Uh, Tony A. So um, let me, uh, I will make homework later. I will send the email. You have to work on that. And uh, I think we ran out of time. Some homework is you have to read it. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so homework assignment, I will send the email. Uh, any question? I'm done. No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Okay. See you next hour. Bye. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye.